Hey guys, welcome to Road to Homesteading. I'm Jason. Today we're going to be making some venison uh, back straps. I've seasoned with uh, a little bit of salt and pepper and rosemary. We're going to be making a mushroom risotto and some roasted asparagus. So let's dive in and see what we need to get started and how to make it. Since the risotto takes about 30 minutes, we're going to start with that. To make mushroom risotto, you'll need some arborio rice, parmesan cheese, mushrooms, some chopped up scallions, salt, pepper, a little bit of butter, olive oil, and some white wine. I've heated up about a tablespoon of butter, and we're going to saute our, uh, we're going to saute our mushrooms first. So we're going to saute 8 ounces of mushrooms and a little bit of butter and give it a little bit of salt and pepper. And this will take, take about 3 to 5 minutes. While we're waiting on the mushrooms, we're going to warm up about 8 cups of chicken stock to use for our risotto. And we're also going to serve our asparagus in a preheated oven to 350. For our asparagus, we're going to drizzle lightly with some olive oil. And salt and pepper. And just roll it around a little bit just to get it coated really nice and spread it out evenly until the oven comes to about 350 and then we'll set it in to bake for about 10 minutes. Now that our mushrooms are gone down we're going to take them out of the pan and put them in a bowl until we're ready for them. Next we'll saute our onions and a little bit of butter until they're translucent. Next we'll add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then our arboreal rice, about one cup of our arboreal rice. And the trick is to kind of keep moving everything around, letting the rice absorb the oils, and lightly toasting the rice. This only takes about two to three minutes. Now that our rice is slightly translucent and absorbed all the oils, we're going to add in a half a cup of our white wine. You want to continue stirring this until all of the wine has been absorbed by the rice. And we'll start adding one ladle of chicken stock to the rice and let it absorb and then add another and continue until the rice is done and this will take about another 20 minutes. Remember to continue to stir through this whole process.
<laughs> After about four or five ladles of chicken stock, start tasting your rice to see if it's al dente yet or not. You can see how nice and thick the rice is from absorbing all the juices. Our asparagus has been in for about five minutes and we're just going to give it a quick rotate and put it back in for another five minutes. Our rice is getting close to being al dente and it's nice and fluffy and we'll add about one more ladle of our chicken stock. and add in our mushrooms and season with a little salt and pepper in about a cup of Parmesan cheese and give it a few stirs and set it aside off the eye and incorporate about two tablespoons of butter While the risotto is cooling off a little bit, we're going to bring our cast iron to a... We're going to heat up our cast iron and add a little bit of olive oil and butter. <laughs> and add in our rosemary. And cook our back straps for about three to four minutes on each side. When everything's done, we'll put a little risotto on our plate. Our 
asparagus. And then our venison. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you liked the video, to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.